Yeah. People who are flying internationally are taking precautions as news of the measles outbreak continues to spread. Sydney Edwards joins us live as travelers from the Chattanooga airport are planning how to stay out of harm's way. Sydney. That's right, Latricia. Now measles is back with a vengeance and those who spend their time in busy airports might be more susceptible. When you walk into an airport, you're greeted with safety checks left and right. Baggage being checked for what someone might be bringing into the airport. But it's a contagious, unwelcome guest that health experts and travelers are concerned about now. There are no treatment and no cure for measles. And there's no way to predict how bad a case of measles will be. That's Bob Redfield with the CDC. He says travelers from other countries brought 90% of measles cases in the U.S. One cough or something could contain someone here and then it's going to spread like a wildfire. This highly contagious virus is to blame for over 700 cases in the U.S. Now three of those have been confirmed in East Tennessee. It spreads through coughing, sneezing, and saliva. And folks traveling through busy international airports like Atlanta say they're concerned. Well, then the world's getting smaller with travel. So it's possible that there's going to be a lot more people that are going to get infected and don't even know it. With the largest outbreak in a century, some folks are taking matters into their own hands. I carry um, antibacterial wipes with me everywhere. Um, I carry hand sanitizer. Uh, if I'm sitting in a chair, I wipe it down. The best way to prevent the measles virus from spreading, doctors say, is to get vaccinated. It's called the MMR vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella. Go for checkups more often or, you know, look into what the symptoms are, what it can do to prevent from getting, you know, getting them. And it's not just airports. Last week, the Tennessee Department of Health warned customers of this MAPCO in Chattanooga that they say may have been exposed. That initial East Tennessee patient passed through there on April 11th. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Sydney Edwards, News Channel 9.